after passing his archaeology exam and obtaining his level 3 certificate. Tectonic successfully pursued his dream career of becoming an established archaeologist at the Institute of Varrock Museum. After receiving word of a potential nearby island that is yet to be explored, Tectonix and his crew set sail to explore the vast expanse towards the northeast. Legend has it that the island is home to the rarest and most primitive creatures, and within the deepest, darkest caves lies invaluable treasure. You've seen a Mauritania Lot Tormen Iron Man. You've seen a Karamja Lot Tormen Iron Man. And now, it's time for a Fossil Island Lot Tormen Iron Man. Taking inspiration from these unique account builds, I've decided to give it a shot myself and lock my Ultimate Iron Man into what I deem expedition sites, which are led by the Varrock Museum. This includes the dig site, Fossil Island and the Varrock Museum itself. With potential updates coming to the Varrock Museum, like the boss floor that uses surplus rare fossils and the increased speed at cleaning specimens, it only makes sense that these areas should be within my restrictions. The goals of the account are to defeat the island's demiboss, the deranged archaeologist, and to eventually slay some fossil island wyverns to have a chance at obtaining the wyvern visage. Naturally, with these account types, some exceptions need to be made. I want to provide as much content as possible, while making as little exceptions as possible, so I'm allowing myself to leave the island for the following. Elemental Workshop 1. This will allow access to the elemental shield which is needed to successfully fight against Fossil Island Wyverns. I won't need to get this until I hit 66 layer, so it will be a while before I actually need to leave to complete the quest. Recipe for Disaster, Freeing Pirate Pete. I won't need to complete the quest, but just reach the part where I can make the diving apparatus, so I won't be gaining any unnecessary XP. By allowing myself access to the diving kit, I can get a lot more out of the underwater grind, which is a big part of Fossil Island. Visiting the Varrock Sawmill Operator In order to access the volcanic mine, I need to have fully built the campsite on Fossil Island. This requires 29 construction and materials that can only be purchased or obtained from a sawmill. The Varrock Sawmill does not fall in the allowed areas, however it's only a very short distance away from the dig site, so we won't need to spend very long there at all, and it's an exception that has to be made to unlock content for the account. There's also an axe I can take nearby that I'll be using to get to the deranged archaeologist since there's no way to obtain one on Fossil Island. Varrock Estate Agent Building a player-owned house may very well be possible, but gathering the law runes I will need will take some time. I'll address this in a future episode. I do think the only way to recharge my prayer points while at Fossil Island will be to build an altar in my house. It's going to be a long time before we can even dream of fighting the likes of the deranged archaeologist, or even slay some wyverns, but I hope you all will join us on this journey as we figure things out along the way. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I will do my best to address them in the next video or in the comments. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and are looking forward to future episodes, and please subscribe so you don't miss the next episode.